in less than 300 minutes, over a quarter of a million people would die. With no emergency system in place, these are the images that we saw. Only because these were third world countries, developing countries, did we lose so many. For me, these images represented another example of the disparity between rich and poor countries, rich and poor. It's hard to believe that just two years ago, I was in India celebrating with the people, being part of their morning ritual, watching them bathe and be part of life in a way that I knew not. Chunai. Nagapatakam. Kanayakamari. Oroville. The entire coast of Tamil Nadu. and Kerala were ripped into. Some of the faces that I saw were surely amongst the dead. Women and children accounted for most of the deaths. For it were they who were down by the sea selling their goods. And when the tidal wave receded and the fish jumped about, the children ran out, only to be later swept away and later brought back into the shore. And for the fishermen who survived, their livelihood did not. And with over 1,089 villages affected, so would be their strong communities, the very communities that held them together. But now, they were gone. They would have to look outside their bubble into something foreign. And so this is where my journey starts. I wanted to help. I didn't have much money. But I have a big heart. Know how to network well. I had developed a strong program for the kids of the orphanages and the NGO affiliates. I can always rely on my sense of humor to get me through the day. The Middle East is blessed with social structures, which almost dictates social togetherness and gatherings. <laughs> it is one of family and sharing, of laughter and crying. My auntie also is a swami. Yes. So they had to come here. Yeah, and there's no things here. Anything is easy. All gone. All things lost. Nice. Nine people died. Nine people died. Yeah. In the East, in India, it's not shameful to cry. It's not shameful to be part of a process that hurts. Yeah. Mm. I saw those. It affected a lot. Mm. And so when I arrived in India, I knew not to impose my Western beliefs on how to fix the people. The program I would need to create then would need to be one that supported their process and their flow. Hey, this is a little different. I'm interested. <laughs> because to be invited into these sacred communal gatherings would in itself be a blessing, an honor. Can I come back? Yeah. Yeah, here, there, there, there. Take the rock. Take the rock. Take the rock. Take the rock. I knew I could only offer to be a spice of love and support. Communal recipe, whose main ingredients were integrity, respect, sharing, and support.
I would bring two others with me to help out with the program, film, and watch it unfold. Right here. Do you live here? I live here. Really? She lives here. Yeah. And my other friend, Jamie Lee, she's from here. Yeah. Is that California? California. Yes. So California. The program was simply one of love and support, a human condition the Indian people certainly welcomed. I would share my story why I felt called to come to them, and then we would share cultural song and dance. This, uh, this song is about the sea waves, because children are worried about this, afraid of this uh, waves of the tsunami. So some of them, uh, this lyric is on the sea waves, which uh, it's a small waves, it is helpful to the, our people fisher folk. So we should not have any fear over these uh, waves, that is the main theme of the song. Four plus four, eight. So you build uh, some castles in the sand. Ah. <laughs> they say that five plus five is ten. Uh, Patti means ten. Sotti means property. Patti means ten. Sotti means property. So uh, five plus five is equal to ten. C is our uh, wealth. C is the wealth. Okay. C is our wealth. C is okay. Thank you.